guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Carissa. Thanks for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please don't forget to do so and thumbs up this video if you enjoy fitness content, clothing hauls. You can find all of that plus some on my channel. Today's video is going to be my Lululemon shorts collection. Um, I have well over 25 pairs and I didn't even know that. I just buy pieces here and there and they start to add up. As a matter of fact, I do plan on doing an updated collection video for my entire Lululemon collection. So if you missed that video from last year, definitely um, check it out. I'll link it above me right now. But I think I am due for an update to show you guys my full collection again. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the shorts collection. The first collection I want to show you guys is what I own the most of. It is the Hottie Hot 2.5 inch shorts. Here is my stack of Hottie Hot shorts. And as always, I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on every single pair. This is the first um, short that I bought from Lululemon was a Hottie Hot. So I am a big time fan of them. Here is what they look like. So they are just a really cute running short. They have a pocket here on the left side to hold your keys, which is really, really handy. You also have a pocket here on the left butt cheek area so you can stash stuff in there as well. Really like the um, elastic waistband on it. There is a drawstring at the front as well. They do have some ventilation panels here on each side, if you guys can see that. But um, I think the main thing also about these shorts, if you are a runner, they are lined. So I know um, most avid runners like wearing lined shorts like this. So if you are looking for a great pair of running shorts, I think these will fit the bill for you. Me personally, I wear these for more than running. I wear these to CrossFit class. Um, I wear these when I ride my bike. These are just really functional flowy shorts. They have different lengths. So I always get the 2.5 inch inseam, but I know they also have a four inch inseam. So if you don't want them super short, um, definitely check out the four inch. Body wise, I am 130 pounds and I am about 5'5". Five five. So I wear a size small generally in most clothing and that in the lemon is a size four in their bottoms. But these shorts are so, so small. They just, I'm not sure if they made them to run smaller, but I do recommend sizing up on these. The next collection I have here are speed up shorts. I have five pairs. Yeah, I can't count. These were actually all purchased last summer when I started CrossFit. These are really, really short. This is what they look like. Um, they are just like, this really form-fitting um, pair of shorts and then the back here has like an arch over your um, upper butt area, I guess you call it. These are very, very popular shorts. At first, I wasn't really that into them because I thought they were a little too short for my liking, but then um, I got into CrossFit and if you know anything about CrossFit, um, the clothing selection is very, I don't wanna say skimpy, but with the intensity of the workouts, you know, people just wear like sports bras, pair of shorts, and that's it. So these shorts do have some staple features. Uh, these are running shorts, so they have the appropriate pockets here on the front of the waistband. They do have a drawstring here as well. And then what I like about these is that they do have a zipper back pocket here. So you can put like your keys back here if you want to. Um, or a card. Blue Lemon's running shorts, or at least the ones I own, um, they are aligned. I don't have too, too much to say about these shorts. I just like them for the look of them. I think they hold their purpose. They're great running shorts, especially if you don't want anything restricting you. Like I said, these are very, very short and cheeky. They're known for being that. So just a heads up, if you try these on and you're not prepared for that, just know that they are pretty cheeky. The next collection of shorts I have here are the in-movement shorts. 
So these are pretty new, I think. Lululemon um, launched this entire collection maybe two years ago and now they're doing away with the in movement so i don't know if they're doing away with the short i have five pairs of the in movement shorts and i got pretty much all of these on markdown except for this black pair here because i just wanted a staple black color my advice would be don't pay full price for these um just because they do go on markdown quite a bit for me personally with shorts this short i do like for my torso area to at least be covered since you know i have most of my lower body out. I do like these um, when it comes to functionality. So these are great training shorts. The reason why I really got into these is for CrossFit and they held up really, really well. Um, there's a back pocket here just in case you needed to throw anything in there, but I'm pretty sure they were aware that if you're training in these, you probably don't want anything bulky um, put it to put back there, but the pocket is a nice touch. No drawstring on these, and that's pretty much it. So they do have a ton of different colors, as you guys can see here. The sizing is a little different for me personally. So I size up in all of these. I wear a size six in this particular shorts collection. I will say the Everlux fabric I have a love-hate with it. Like I love the feel and the functionality of it. Um, it's meant for training and high intensity workouts, but like this fabric really um, gives me stomach rolls. And I don't know um, if it's just because of the fabric, but I don't have that issue with like my wonder under. So normally I'm really pudgy when I wear these or any of my in movement leggings. The next pair of shorts that I'm gonna show you guys, I really, really love this collection. This is the Align Shorts um, collection. I own two pairs of shorts from it. I have this navy blue color and then I have this pretty floral print um, color here. Absolutely love the fit of these. If you own a pair of Align leggings, they're the same thing. Still high rise, they're still that buttery feel. Um, I absolutely love the shorts. It's just that if you know anything about the Align shorts in that fabric, I believe it is the new fabric, it peels if you are doing pretty much anything high intensity. These are made for yoga, so I'm not a yogi. Activities I tend to do in these are weight training or like stretching my mobility stuff. So I wish I could get a little bit more wear out of these, but like I said, I'm doing CrossFit. I'm doing HIIT stuff. I'm running. So I don't reach for these as often as I want to, but I do recommend them. For this next section of shorts I'm going to show you guys are all my lemon biker shorts. First pair is actual, an actual biking short are the Pace Crops, I believe. Um, and these are the 10 inch length. So these are cycling shorts. I remember getting these from the outlet. I don't reach for them. I wear pretty much anything when I'm riding my bike, um, normally with my boyfriend. So I don't really think I need a pair of dedicated cycling shorts, but I just wanted to show you guys that I have them. This next pair of shorts is another pair I don't really reach for that often just because they tend to ride up on me a lot. So these are the train time shorts, which I love the train times leggings. Those are very, very popular. But the shorts version, I'm not, uh, I can't advocate for them. The next pair of shorts are my fast and free six inch. Um, I don't reach for these that often. These tend to give me a little pudge here at my stomach area, so uh, you would be surprised by how that subconsciously affects how often you reach for something. But I will say I love the practicality of these shorts. Like if you are a runner or you need to have a pair of shorts that are very functional, these are the shorts for you. I mean, they have pockets on the leg on each side. They have pockets all along the top of the waistband, very much like the actual fast and free leggings. Still made of the new Lux material, which is like super smooth. It's like spandex, but not the uncomfortable spandex. This is like, this is probably the most comfortable anyone can ever make a spandex. Like it's 
yeah this next pair of shorts are the wonder train six inch inseam so i just got these last week or the week before and i hauled them for you guys and told you guys i would report back on if i like them and i really really like them i recommend them to you guys they're awesome these definitely give me a casual feel like oversized t-shirt and chunky shoes vibe but i did go uh, biking around the city in these and they felt amazing they didn't ride up they didn't give me any issues. Um, the fabric of it is very nice. So this is made of the Everlux fabric. So I don't know if it's the, just the stitching or the way the seams are on the in movement, but these just, they didn't give me as many issues um, in my stomach area like the in movements do. So you um, are in the market for some biking shorts um, check these out these are size 4 and I think that you'll be okay if you get a size 4 just know that the leg area is a little snug um, I don't think it's snug enough to feel like you have to size up but as always gauge your body um, make sure you know you have the right fit for you and lastly I do have a pair of shorts that I don't wear like I used to so these are the spring breakaway shorts I got these on markdown on a whim um, I think these are like an 8 or 10 inch inseam I don't wear these out I mostly wear these like around the pool because they do have like a material that's kind of not windbreaker feel but they do have like a like a material that's waterproof. So these are great for that. And that is it for my shorts collection. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me and I will catch you in the next video.